Michelle, I tell you that uh, this was one of those cases I worked on when I was in investigation uh, a number of years ago. This was a 1997 case, Homo Bell Sanford. Uh, she was an elderly lady that lived by herself. She gave to her community. She was a volunteer at the hospital. And it was just, uh, just heart-wrenching to see how this woman who had given so much was left uh, in her home and, and attacked and brutally attacked and, and assaulted. And uh, trying to determine who did that uh, really uh, took up a, a lot of time and it, and it really got to me as an investigator that, that somebody would be so brutal and so, so callous and that they were in our community. And uh, we worked hard to try to solve that. We, we interviewed literally hundreds of people and tracked evidence and collected evidence. I mean, we filled up a, a, an entire office with evidence. And, uh, and over the years, uh, the CODIS system, um, basically it tracks DNA, you know, individuals that are arrested in other parts of the country that may have been here. And uh, we got a CODIS hit on an individual and uh, we put a real big emphasis on the cold cases, getting these things solved, uh, these old homicides that uh, technology's improved so much that uh, we're, we've re-emphasized, let's solve these, let's get some closure for these families, let's get these cases solved and uh, put those, if possible, bring these people to justice that they committed these crimes, if not, at least uh, give closure to the families. And the, you've got uh, some investigators, I was going to say, you've got some investigators who are passionate about this. Yes. Um, well, th well, think about how can you carry on as, as a family member, if you've had a family member murdered, uh, how can you carry on without knowing who? because uh, it's, it's in, on your mind all the time is who would do that to my, my loved one. And, uh, you know, even, even suspicions amongst family members themselves on, you know, who would have the motive to do such a thing and, and um, how that can drive wedges in families. Uh, the, uh, this is the fourth um, cold case that we've solved. One was over 10 years old, one was over 20 years old. The Ainsworth case was 37 years old uh, uh, that we've solved here in, in the last year. And uh, we're working on two more in addition that we're looking for indictments on that uh, we've got the DNA evidence that was collected back in that time. Now that the technology has allowed us to, to find new kinds of DNA that we can compare to like mitochondrial DNA, it, uh, it has certainly helped us and uh, it, will, it will help us clear a lot of cases and then hopefully prevent a lot more from happening. And what about the work of your investigators? You've been so persistent. They, uh, I can't ever say enough good things about our guys. Uh, and you know, I'm sure every sheriff says that, but uh, I, I'll put our folks up against anybody and their commitment and their level of professionalism. And uh, they are technically sound and proficient and uh, they, don't, they don't let anything go uncovered that, it, that is available to them. Okay. Anything else you wanna mention, Margaret Moss? I just, uh, my, my heartfelt condolences to the family and uh, the victim here and uh, another one, uh, another one for the good guys.